welcome to the Everyday in Brooklyn YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea. In the sun. It's nice here in Virginia. It's about 70 degrees. It is 11 o'clock on a Thursday. I just got back from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. So I wanted to do this haul for you. And there is a girl on YouTube. Her name is Katie Hes Hespy, Hespry. And she does hauls. She also works at Trader Joe's. And she does like a taste test. Um, like another video as a taste test of what she got in the haul. So I thought that that would be a cool idea. So I think what we're going to do is pick a few items from the Trader Joe's side, maybe three from Trader Joe's because we got more stuff. And, or may, actually maybe three from, I don't know. I'll let my husband kind of choose what he wants to taste test. Spoiler alert, one of them is going to be Miyoko's cheese. Um, anyways, I figured that would be kind of a fun thing to do, have another video come out with the taste tested items. So... I, again, I went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. I spent, I think, 250 at Whole Foods and 320 at Trader Joe's. So a lot. <clears throat> we have a couple more weeks, so we're going to go grocery shopping again. You probably saw my last video, which was a Costco haul. So, yeah. We're stocked. We got all the foods. We're good. Anyways, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and happy. And um, I will not be going back to Trader Joe's. In Whole Foods until this whole thing is over just because it took about 30 minutes waiting in line and I just don't want to do that I think they did a fantastic job they were doing everything that they needed to do it's just for me to drive over there it takes like 30 minutes to drive there and then 35 minutes standing in the line it's just not worth it I'll just go to my regular grocery stores so this will be the last Trader Joe's haul and Whole Foods haul for a little while and Whole Foods is pretty like slim pickings on stuff so I'll just go to mom's it's just as expensive. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the haul. Let's start over here with Trader Joe's. We just got some whole wheat burger buns. I couldn't find some at Whole Foods, so I got those. Tandoori garlic naan. These each come with four naans. I got two. Four coconut beverage. That's my husband's favorite milk. So usually if I go to Trader Joe's, I try to get a few. I don't remember. I didn't look at the meat or anything, but I didn't. I don't remember seeing any signs that said like, quantities were limited I th think at Whole Foods I saw a sign on the milk but it didn't it didn't plant milk didn't matter like you can get as many plant milks as you want but only four mom cow milks so we only have or so it didn't matter so anyways I got four of those <clears throat> two soyaki two sesame oils one sweet chili garlic, one enchilada, one spicy taco. This is amazing. If you are looking for a delicious taco sauce, that one is it. One organic Kansas City style barbecue sauce. I'm going to try to make um, Kansas City barbecue sauce for my husband because he loves it. Um, thank you to whoever mentioned, it was like a couple of years ago, that the Carolina style was not vegan. So I ended up making it and we just have homemade now. So I'll probably end up making one for him, but... I figured we'd just have a backup just in case because he's a barbecue sauce person. Two packs of these organic mini tortillas. I figured these would be good for like quesadilla snacks. Bean dia is what we call them because we usually just use beans on them. I got some onion salt, 21 seasoning salute, umami um, seasoning, vegan chickenless seasoning. Got two of these. My son, he requested two items, these being one of them, hash brown patties. So I got two containers of those. <clears throat> Tofu, I got six. That was one thing I actually called ahead to see if they had and then if there was a limit on them. So there wasn't, and they had them, so it's great. My friend Kim from the Kimberly Flanagan YouTube channel, she got these the other day, and I was like, oh, those do sound good. So I bought one for, it, you know, just to have in the freezer. I'm the only one that likes them, so I just bought one. Ghost pepper, hot chili, chips, shredded potato hash browns. I got three of these bags. Um, usually I get the organic ones from mom's. They're a smaller bag. Um, and my three boys, my husband and my two boys, they go through one bag by themselves. So these are bigger bags, which is awesome for our family. Three beefless grounds. I don't know how fast I'll go through these, but they just have my favorite beefless grounds. So I figured I'd just pick up a couple because why not? Vanilla non-dairy frozen dessert and chocolate. So my son um, <clears throat> has learned to read. And in one of the books he reads, the, one of the characters, Pete the Cat, 
eats banana splits, and so we figured we would do a banana split. Anyways, herb salad mix, arugula, two cilantros, a parsley, three cauliflowers, two shiitake mushrooms, one portobello mushroom. I don't remember why I bought this, but it was for a specific reason, obviously to eat, but I don't remember what for. A basil plant, two freeze-dried mangoes, those are delicious, one globe artichokes container. These, I really like these, no one else, I don't think likes them. I know my husband doesn't, I don't know if my kids do, but one day I just steamed them and ate them plain for lunch. I just ate like two of them, they were delicious. Ciabatta roll, <clears throat> baby broccolini, I got two bags because I'm going to make broccoli sandwiches or broccoli rob sandwiches, it's like an Italian style sub. Macaroni, I don't know why they just, I love that they're like noodles, they're huge, just makes me happy. Whole wheat tortillas, <laughs> this massive four pounds of strawberries, and you'll see another thing of strawberries and then I got these corn dippers and I got two bags but I got the elote ones and they have dairy in them so I'll just give those to a friend no big deal so that was kind of a bummer I thought I was getting two of those but someone must have put them in the wrong spot oh well Scandinavian swimmers sesame sticks I made a salad the other day um it's supposed to be like the Applebee's chicken Asian salad and I was like oh this would be really good on those impulse buys some decaf ground coffee. We don't have any. And every once in a while I like to make iced coffee for myself. Some soft licorice. <clears throat> Two of these organic sugar cones. They only have these for summer. So I figured I'd just get two of them. We don't we usually eat ice cream once a week, except for we'll be having our banana splits this next time. So we'll have cones for a while. Organic vegetarian chili. I don't know why I've been on like a chili kick lately, and like the canned chili. So there's that. These little tiny potatoes, <clears throat> an oolong tea. I actually bought that for the car at home and then didn't look for it. Coconut creamer, vanilla coconut yogurt, two or three jackfruits, mini shells. I do not know like, what the deal is with these, but I thought they were the cutest thing. So, and I hope I didn't even look to see if they have milk. Oh my God. Hopefully they don't. Contains wheat. Okay. Phew. Usually pasta does not, but sometimes like, like more authentic brands might. Anyways, they don't. Two green peppers, a thing of jalapenos. This, I don't know if it's acerillo or acerillo. Rilla. I have the supplements, but they have the little juice shots. I got four of those. They're extremely high in vitamin C. Vegan kale, cashew, basil, pesto. Uh, leeks, eggplant, tons of Miyoko's butter. My friend Kim also encouraged, <laughs> Kim, you're an influencer. You did your job. <laughs> I also bought this because she said it's delicious. So I figured, hence the reason I bought the corn chips, but whatever. Uh, rainbow wrap. I ate half of, uh, or I ate one of the halves when I got home. It's just like a wrap with beets, um, curried hummus. I guess you'll read it. Roasted sweet potato, curried hummus, beet, and spinach. Pretty tasty. Pretty plain, but good. <clears throat> Green lentils. Four boxes of vanilla almond clusters. My husband has been on a cereal kick, so he asked for cereal. That was his thing he wanted. And organic raisin bread clusters. So that is the Trader Joe's portion of that haul. This is also, so I said my son wanted hash browns, and then he also wanted broccoli sprouts. They only had alfalfa sprouts, so he got those. One coconut milk, that's the only one they had of that flavor, or that type, so I just got the one that they had. <coughs> um, Zevia ginger root beer and Zevia ginger ale. My husband likes those, so I got them for him. He stays up pretty late working, so he kind of likes something like that. And this, another influencer, um, I don't even remember her name, but she said that this was amazing. Maybe this will be in the taste test. So I bought it. Anyways, Pad Thai rice noodles, crunchy cinnamon squares, more cereal options. I bought two paper towels. Um, we use cloth paper towels, but sometimes you just have one of those messes that is 
unbearably disgusting and you have to use cloth or it's disposable. So we ordered some a couple of years ago. We ordered six rolls, I think two years ago. <laughs> we are just on our last roll. So, um, and who gives crap, which is the company we order from. They are all out. So we got some more. Anyways, three Japanese sweet potatoes, my favorite, more strawberries. I kind of got sucked into this. So I think I might make like a dessert with those and then another one of the ingredients. Really Peelies by Annie's. They're just like little pull and peel snacks. I did not put this in this bag, but the person that works there did. Um, a red cabbage, Giggles, which are by Yum Earth. They're kind of like Skittles, but the organic version, I guess. I don't know. I think those would be fun. I got three, three total of these cookies. The boys ate the other two. I gave them for helping bring in all the groceries. <clears throat> organic corn tortillas, more chili. I see like a theme throughout my haul. Like what was Chelsea into when she was buying food? Chili. So I got uh, medium and spicy. I got four cans of organic refried beans. Frankfurters. Um, Kite Hill cream cheese. Two root vegetable hash browns. Milkadamia unsweetened vanilla creamer. Sounds awesome. Plant-based whipped topping. And then cocoa whip. This is $2 cheaper. So... I went with that, and we'll see which one we like. Probably both of them. Spring roll wrappers, Daya gluten-free cheese lover pizza, and Supreme pizza. Also to have in the pantry, or the freezer. Some, we've never tried the strawberry cheesecake. Notamu, cookies and cream Notamu, and Oatly Notamu, or Oatly strawberry. The strawberries for the Banana splits, <clears throat> smart bacon, two boxes. Uh, this is another thing I got sucked into a hole of. It's got two raspberry so delicious, two peach so delicious, two blueberry so delicious, two strawberry so delicious. One plain, I use this for like salad dressings. I use it in my Caesar, I use it in my ranch. I use it in all kinds of like dips and things like that. Um, two key limes, these are for me. Unless the boys want them, then they can have them. But that's, I got them for me. Uh, I also got this Greek style vanilla unsweetened and almond milk regular unsweetened. So they're both unsweetened. Uh, field roast sausages, plant based oven slices. Again, my friend Kim, she was eating these and sucked me in. One just egg. These were only $4.99. We haven't had these in. We've only had them one time, and it was like when they first came out, and they were like $8.99. They only had one left, so I only got one. I don't know if the boys would want to eat that. They like tofu egg, so they'll probably just go with tofu egg. This was new. <laughs> Colby Jack Shreds, so we tried it. Chow Original Creamy, and I accidentally got the original Daya. Ugh, so that's rough. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Then I got, <clears throat> I thought I got the shreds, but I also I got the Farmhouse Miyokos and the Pepper Jack Miyokos. I'm, I think we'll put those in the taste test. We did try this one already. Rigatoni. Pipe Rigate. And Sofogolini. Sofogolini. Trumpets. Um, I got this for like um, lasagna soup. I like that shape of noodles. So that is all for the haul. <laughs> I hope you guys liked everything. Let me know if you've gotten some of the new things, what you think, how everything is going for you guys, how is shopping for everyone. Okay. Just in here and try to block the sunlight from coming in. Anyways, so that is my haul for Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. I hope you guys liked it. Obviously, I got sucked into some holes here of yogurt and chili and strawberries. So we'll be eating those for the foreseeable future, which is fine. Um, but anyways, let me know if you guys have tried any of these items, have tried the new items, and look out for the next video of a taste test of some of the new items or so maybe some of the old items. I'll let Colt kind of choose some what he wants to try um, of the things that we got in our haul today. So... I hope you guys are staying happy, healthy, and enjoying this time if you are able to. And if you are not able to and you're still out there working and 
doing what you can for society, I appreciate it because we would not be able to be here without all of everyone coming together as a community and helping out and participating. So thank you to all of you who are out there fighting the good fight. And yeah, I'm gonna put all these pictures away. Love you guys.